What's the password? Nah, that ain't it. Get on out of here, kid. Hey guys, Johnny, did you miss me? I missed you guys. Hey, guess what we're looking at? Slots. <laughs> oh, we got only just a couple in this little series, but these are really cool high-end stuff. So let's take a look at her. You ready? Oh, I know I am. We got all these slot car tracks that can go with these slot cars. Let's dig in. Hey cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Oh man, now if you are a slot car person, you are going to love this stuff. Look at this. Auto World. The Bat Phone! The Bat Phone! Oh my, oh my, how the solicitors can get the bad phone number, I don't know. Oh, this is a kit car, look at this. C-A-R-R. -R. Flamethrowers and working lights. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, this one isn't opened. Oh, I gotta keep it unopened for now. Silver Screen Machines, collect all three kit car and bandit firebird oh that is cool silver screen machines play a tribute to the most ironic pop culture vehicles to ever zoom across the silver screen for decades you've cheered your favorite actors as they drive these timeless cars stars into the hearts and minds of adolescents and old people worldwide Keep your extraction running at its peak. Oh, look at this. This tells you how to tune it up to a super duper super stock car. Here's all your code numbers in case you're trying to chase this down yourself. Oh, I'm telling you, and all your legal mumbo a jumbo. Oh, this is so cool. Now this one says it's the C-A-R-R, -R. it's not Kit, so is that from like Knight Rider 2 or something? I don't know, because it is Knight Rider. That is cool, electric slot cars. That's number one in this little grouping of dupins. Here's number two, Smokey and the Bandit. We were looking at uh, the flea market. Bandit Firebird TA. Look at how cool that looks. We were looking at the flea market and I found a, uh, the longest yard with Burt Reynolds and then the new one with Adam Sandler's in a combo DVD, but literally there were no DVDs in it. <laughs> like, oh shoot, that would have been fun. But Smokey and the Bandit, another great fun car movie one of the top 10 all-time car movies great chases and stuff on there so look at that electric slot cars screen saver machines oh and collect all this seems to be the same as the one we just looked at Keep your extraction running at its peak. Under normal usage, all slot cars need parts replaced or maintained regularly to retain proper speed and handling. This performance pack will help you race your slot car to the top of the leaderboards. Look at that. And there's your brushes, tires, guide pins, pickup shoes, and springs, baby, springs. It includes all those things. That is, again, these are, these are so cool. Look at that ironic slot card. This is, that is crazy cool. What else do we have? Now those are Auto World and this one is AFX, the Mega G Plus, not Plus but 
G plus. That is pretty sweet. Oh, look at that. Again, not my style of car. I'd like a show rod or something like that. Which could be pretty good. This is all about you. That's too much to read. You know us. In this generation, we don't read nothing. No how, no way. Oh, that is good. Oh, manufactured by Tomy. Interesting. So they have the AFX license too? Very cool. They are a cool company. <laughs> oh, look at this one. This one's also an AFX Mega. The lightest, fastest, most realistic production slot cars made. Look at that thing. That is gorgeous in the package. And this package is made to take a licking and still protect its little chicken. So that is cool. Look at that car. That is wild. Part of the Mega G race system. Ages 8 and up it says, but I know not too many 8 year olds are buying this stuff. It's all us old guys that are actually reliving our childhood through all this stuff. Here's another AFX Collector Series Clear Limited Edition. Ooh. 3000 Limited Run. Look at that. Most highly detailed HO slot cars ever produced. I'm telling you, AFX was my slot car of choice. Oh, this is some pretty sweet, sweet deals on this. Oh, genuine Aurora AFX. And here's the super secret code number. AFX. Mr. Aurora in 63, the Ford Motor Company and Aurora Plastic Corporation collaborated to promote the Ford Aurora Grand Nationals competition. This endeavor promoted HO slot car competitions throughout the nation, nation's hobby stores to cr crown a Grand National Champion. This year, the grand prize was a brand new 1963 Ford Thunderbird and two years later, it was a newer 66 Ford Mustang. Around the time, a 10-year-old Bob Beers was just getting his first Aurora slot car set. Likely, that set grew into a hobby and eventually a passion that has absorbed Bob for the better part of his life. He has been an avid enthusiast and historian of Aurora and AFX since the mid-80s. And though an avid enthusiast and historian, oh, though his book, The Complete Color Guide to Aurora Slot Cars, his slot car shows races and events he has promoted the hobby and helped keep the legacy of Aurora alive. Bob, who has come to be known as Mr. Aurora, eventually purchased the 1963 and 65 prize was winning Ford cars. So it's not surprising that when he decided to commission a limited edition car from AFX, it was a Ford product, the stunning new Ford GT. Bum, bum, bum! That's it. Oh, that was totally mind blowing experience and there it is the coolest car in the world if you're a Ford guy huh Ford man <laughs> oh and guess what is this a second oh no this is a different one look at this beauty looks like a Shelby 
Now, does it tell us the name of the car on this? Or am I just supposed to know it through osmosis? Here is one. Here's the other. So, I'm guessing on the back. Did I show you everything? Collector Series Clear Limited Edition. Only 3,000 run. Look at this again. Great detail on this slot car. So cool. Still in the baggage. Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. <laughs> CX. CSX2287 Designed by Pete Brock and registered by many as the one of the most Beautiful race cars ever built Carol Shelby's Daytona Coupe oh, Was a watershed racing car for America and set the stage for an era of American domination of international endurance racing Oh, look at that. I love the old vintage pictures. Riverside Raceway, May 1966. Oh, that is cool. I ain't reading all this mumbo jumbo. If you want to read it, pause it. Pause it. Pause it. You can read through all this historic history, historicious type of information. Oh, eventually the car sold to a music producer, Phil Spector, for twelve thousand five hundred. Then, in a bizarre twist, the car went missing for over thirty years before turning up in a forty-foot container following the suicide of its owner shortly afterwards it was sold for a rumored four million five hundred thousand and is currently valued at over twenty million dollars the entire story is too long to be told here but would make a terrific major motion picture of course it would we would all love it and watch it ah oh, this is just so much fun does anyone really know the history behind it did you ever own the real car maybe someone out there had these cars that were the winner winner chicken dinners of the racetracks so, oh, that is pretty sweet. Now, I know, I know, I got some more bins over here and stuff to show you in there. But not on this video. Those will be coming up soon. So, rock and roll, babies. I hope you dig the slots of the slot cardedness of these cars. These are really sweet. There are so many cool cars. One just took out the supper club. Till next time, babies. Cool cats and kittens. Guys and dolls. Elliot's and Maisie's. Rock on, my friends. Rock on. Till next time. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.